everybody, it's your boy, Surgical Guru, and we're back with another video. Today, I wanna show you how to do a surgical hand scrub, um, the basics, the one-on-one. -on -one. Um, here, I'm gonna use one of these chlorhexidine sponges. This is the ones that I typically use. Um, but we have different types of uh, sponges available. You also have these iodine sponges, and then you also have these no detergent sponges. And then we also actually have Avigard. This is what I typically use on a day-to-day. -day. Um, it's kind of like a hand sanitizer. Um, you just scrub your hands with it, scrub your nail beds. We'll do another separate video on that. But um, I want to show you the traditional way of how to make your hands surgically clean uh, for surgery. So first thing that I do is I open up this sponge because once I do my pre-clean, my hands are going to be wet and it's going to be really hard to open that up if my hands are wet. Um, oh yeah, the soap is right here. So I turn on the water, a little bit of soap on my hands, lather my hands up, and then I'll get them nice and sudsy. Just to get those initial microbes off your skin. Alright. Cool. So first thing you want to do is grab this pick that comes in your pack. And you use the pick to clean your nails. Um, underneath your nails is where we can harbor a lot of dirt. So you want to take the pick, scrape underneath your nails, rinse it off. Alright, now after we're done cleaning off our nails, we're going to take the scrub, finish them off, put that in the trash, now I can grab my sponge, i to wet this up a little bit, get a little bit sudsy, and you want to take this bristle side and clean your nails off. So typically, uh, what I like to do if I'm doing a full scrub is the stroke technique. Um, so I think I can do anywhere from 15 to 20 strokes of my nail bed, I like 20 to 30. Then rinse the dirt off underneath the sink and do the same thing on the other side, about 20 to 30 strokes. And then you clean the bristles off again. And now uh, we get into actually cleaning our hands. So um, you can use the soft side and uh, your finger is divided into four planes. Um, there's this plane, that plane, that plane, and that plane, and then you have your webs in between. So what you wanna uh, do is if you're going for the stroke technique or method, you wanna do 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And oh yeah, um, I missed it right there, but um, we're supposed to also hit our web, so you can hit that five times, five to ten, um, whatever you were taught in your training. A lot of people have been taught different methods. So, you know, it's not one way to, of how to do it, but there are correct ways and incorrect ways on how to do it. So you want to make sure that what you're doing is effective. The so five, then another 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And on the hand, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you get to the arms, and once again, uh, each section of your arm is divided into four planes. If your arm is long enough, some people have three sections. I think I can get away with just doing two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then you go into your other hand. You do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you. 
If you ever drop your sponge, if you ever drop this while you're in the middle of uh, doing a scrub, um, hopefully you got somebody around that can open you up another sponge because uh, you kind of got to start over if you're by yourself, you know? So. But the more that you do it, it'll get easier on just holding it. So after you're done, you take the sponge, throw it in the garbage. All right, make sure you always keep your arms out like that. Now you run your hands under the water. Now you wanna to try to get as much as the soap as you can while you're doing it. You never wanna backtrack your arms. Boom. So you know, as you're going up and you're rinsing your arm off, you never wanna bring your arm back into the water because that's cross-contamination. You want to allow the, the water to kind of rinse or drip down off of your arms. So, um, yeah, basically, that's it. You rinse your arms off, keep your arms like that, kind of like a bear hug, my teacher used to say, and you allow the, you know, saline to kind of drip off. <laughs> All right, and I just wanted to show you after you're done um, with the hand scrub, how you get into the room. So usually the door handles are just like that. You use your butt, just push the handle, keep your arms like that, come into the room, and then, you know, ev eventually grab your towel or your paper cloth that's on top of your gown and dry your arms off. That's it. How to do a surgical hand scrub, one-on-one, -on -one, the surgical guru. Let me know in the comments um, what type of videos you want to see next. Um, like, subscribe, and y'all have a good day.